Former Proud Boys leader Enrique Tarrio sentenced to 22 years in Jan. 6 Sedition Case. Enrique Tarrio, the former leader of the Proud Boys, has received a 22-year prison sentence for his central role in organizing a group of pro-Trump supporters to attack the Capitol on January 6, 2021, in an attempt to disrupt the peaceful transfer of presidential power. Tarrio's sentencing, following his conviction earlier this year on seditious conspiracy charges, marks the most severe penalty handed down among the more than 1,100 individuals charged in connection with the Capitol attack. This sentence is expected to be the most substantial, as no other defendants currently face accusations as serious as Tarrio's. Until now, the longest prison term associated with the January 6 attack was 18 years, which was given to Ethan Nordin, a co-defendant of Tario. A similar sentence was also imposed on Stuart Rhodes, leader of the far-right group, the Oath Keepers Militia, in a separate case in May. Rhodes was found guilty of sedition in connection with the Capitol breach. Tario's sentencing concludes the legal proceedings against the five members of the Proud Boys who were tried on seditious conspiracy charges this year. Three other individuals involved in the case were sentenced last week to prison terms ranging from 10 to 17 years. What makes Tario's sentence particularly notable is not only its length but also what it reveals about the current status of the Proud Boys. Following the Capitol attack, the FBI prioritized investigating the group, as it was quickly determined that many of its members played significant roles in breaching barricades and assaulting the police. In a series of prosecutions, including Tario's trial, the Justice Department effectively dismantled the group's national leadership, curbing its involvement in large-scale and often violent pro-Trump rallies across the country. However, the Proud Boys as an organization have persisted, involving themselves in local-level conflicts over issues such as coronavirus restrictions and the teaching of anti-racism in schools. They have also participated in attacks against LGBTQ pride events. Judge Timothy J. Kelly, explaining the 22-year sentence, cited the seriousness of seditious conspiracy and described Tario as the ultimate leader of that conspiracy, driven by revolutionary zeal. Enrique Tario, 39, who is of Cuban descent and known for his signature sunglasses and baseball cap, led the Proud Boys from 2018 onwards, taking over from the group's founder, Gavin McInnes. Tario had connections with pro-Trump figures like Roger J. Stone Jr., making him a prominent figure in right-wing circles. Even the prosecutors who secured his conviction acknowledged him as a naturally charismatic leader and a savvy propagandist. As Tario left the courtroom escorted by federal marshals, he raised two fingers in a peace or victory sign. Prosecutor Connor Mulrow had recommended a 33-year prison sentence, arguing that a harsh penalty was necessary to deter extremists from future attacks on the democratic process. Mulrow portrayed Tario as the instigator of the violence on January 6, rallying his followers to storm the Capitol. During the trial, prosecutors depicted the Proud Boys as Donald Trump's army on January 6, asserting that the group was thirsting for violence and organizing for action in an effort to keep Trump in power, despite the election's outcome. Tario's lawyers contested these claims, maintaining that neither Tario nor the Proud Boys had planned to breach the Capitol on that day. They argued that their intention was to confront Antifa and protest. In a statement to Judge Kelly, Tario expressed remorse for his role in the events of January 6, describing his trial, which lasted over three months, as humbling. He stated that after the election, he couldn't believe Trump had lost and was fueled by the media's portrayal of justified anger. Tario also claimed he had reached out to law enforcement agencies in an attempt to prevent violence on January 6. The sentencing hearing also delved into complex issues surrounding a terrorism sentencing enhancement, which can be used to increase sentences if prosecutors can demonstrate that the defendant's actions were meant to intimidate and coerce the government. While Judge Kelly applied this enhancement to each of the five men's cases, he acknowledged that their actions did not align with traditional acts of terrorism, such as bombing or attacking military installations. In response, Tario's lawyer emphasized that his client was not a terrorist but rather a misguided patriot. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.